Now you may have noticed an unusual sight developing over the last year here in Salt Lake City. Dozens, perhaps hundreds of railroad locomotives are now sitting idle. And it has nothing to do with coronavirus. Science and nature specialist John Hollenhorst looked into it and says it reflects, for some, a growing concern about railroad safety. If a railroad engine is an iron horse, this is a vast herd put out to pasture. They're lined up nose to tail, waiting to go nowhere. At least for now. Jay Segmiller from the labor union representing engineers and conductors estimates 200 engines are idled in Utah by Union Pacific's company-wide efficiency campaign. They're basically doubling the size of trains so they don't need as many locomotives. Nationally, Union Pacific sidelined 3,100 locomotives by the end of 2019, 40% of their engines. The company says they're in storage waiting, ready to respond to fluctuations in rail business. But lately, there are more idle engines than usual because of a new strategy to collect freight cars more efficiently and group them into longer trains. Two, three, four miles, depending on, on the, equi the equipment. The company says average train length increased only 16%, but didn't dispute that some are much longer. The labor union says that blocks highway crossings for longer periods, sometimes cutting off routes for police, fire, and ambulances. Oh, it, it definitely impacts the public. According to official reports, Union Pacific furloughed about 5,000 workers last year, but UP won't say how many of those are in Utah. They've furloughed uh, about a third of our workforce and they're expecting those that are working to work all that much more to, 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 to fill that void. Morale is, is terribly low, and the conditions, I think, are, are terribly unsafe at this point. In a statement to KSL, Union Pacific says, nothing is more important than safety. Our employees start every shift with a safety briefing, and we encourage them to stop the line if they see something they're concerned about. But Union Pacific accidents have steadily increased in recent years, up 25% since 2016. UP points out that efficient rail transport is critical, especially now. During this national emergency, we are delivering the materials that power hospitals, stock grocery stores, purify water, make medicine, and feed livestock. The company says all those locomotives are ready to go when they're needed. John Hollenhorst, KSL 5 News, Salt Lake City.